Welcome to the cozy little cabin. So glad you're joining me again. We have a very fun day planned. Today we're going to be talking about the letter T. Let's look up here at the board. I'm going to draw a T first. It's super simple. We're going to make a stick and then we're going to put a hat right up there. There's a T right there. Baby T is a stick and right in the middle you lay another stick. Big T and baby T. Remember how we've been talking all year that when you put letters together, they can make a word. If we put the T right at the beginning of that word, tub, tub, T makes the T sound. Well, let's just look around and see all of the things that we have in our cozy cabin today that start with the letter T. I'm going to start with one of my favorites. That's a tricycle. I love that tricycle. And here's Franklin. He's sitting in the rocking chair today. And then we have our telephone. This is an old telephone, but hello. Yes. They wanted to let you know that they miss you. Mrs. Wilson and Mrs. Lockwood really miss you and wanted to say hi to you. Oh, did you see what I have behind here? A teepee. I got that teepee a long time ago, and it is just so fun to have cozy little tea party in my teepee. Tea party and teepee make the tough sound. All right, and we have Twizzlers and our smiling teeth and our toothbrush. Oh, this is one of my favorite toys. It's a big top, t -t top. But when you go up and down with my top like this, there's a train that goes round and round. A t train starts with the T sound. Oh, Mrs. Kapenka does love tea. And this is my little teapot. It is kind of short and stout. I like tea. And of course, you know this guy, Thomas the Train. And Tigger and a toucan. Oh, uh-oh. Why do we have this clock here? K -k clock. Clock does not make the tuh sound. Listen closely and see if you can hear the tuh sound in tick tock. Listen. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. And that makes the tuh sound. So a clock can go tick. Well, let's go back and look at our teeth. Remember when we had little smiles come into the preschool? They did such a great job reminding us how important it is to brush our teeth. And I thought I should bring our teeth home with me to the cozy cabin because teeth makes the tuh sound. Remember what they said, open wide and once you put your toothpaste on, you go in and you go in circles. Go in circles. Be sure to get on the inside of your teeth with your t -t toothbrush and then go in circles on the top and then get underneath on the inside and brush that. They even said to stick out your tongue and brush your tongue. Tongue makes the t sound too. Let's sing our little song, I Brush My Teeth. Would you please sing it with me? I wish I could hear you, but I know you're singing with me at home. I brush my teeth, I brush my teeth, morning, noon, and night. I brush them, brush them, rinse them clean. <gasps> now we spit in the sink t to keep them nice and white. And that's what we do with our toothbrush. And we keep our teeth nice and white and very healthy. Okay. Yes, it's been a rainy day the last couple of days. We haven't been able to go outside and play, but hopefully very, very soon, like tomorrow, I looked at the weather and we're supposed to have sunshine tomorrow. I'm so excited. Well, when there's sunshine, it's good to get outside. Remember we talked about our plants needing water? They need air and the third thing was sunshine? Well, I think that we need those same things too and sunshine makes me feel so much better. So tomorrow, try to get outside and play. And when you're out there, find some dirt and see if you can draw letters in your dirt. I'm gonna make the letter T first in my dirt. 
and baby tea in my dirt. There it is. Big tea and baby tea. Then you can do just what we do at school. Mix it back up and you can make other letters. Practice all of your letters. You're very good at drawing your letters. Well then, it would be kind of fun to look for sticks and branches. Sometimes we just call them sticks, but the big ones are called branches and the little ones that come off the branch are called twigs. Twig starts with the letter T. T, -t. We're going to make some teepees out of our twigs. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's not very hard. So you're going to find a twig that has a nice V shape. Next week, we're going to talk about the letter V. Look here. There's my V. So I'm going to take my cutters. You might have to have mom or dad help you or big sister or big brother. And I'm going to cut that and cut that. They're going to fall right off. Remember, you're outside. So even if you make a mess, it's okay. And now I have a twig with the letter V. V. It's kind of fun to use these kind of twigs because with our TP, it's fun to have the little twig part sticking up at the top. So I have three little twigs that we prepared. And I'm going to take my string. You could use string. You could use yarn. You can use twine. This is actually what we call twine. Oh, another T word. Twine. I'm going to wrap my twine like that, and I'm going to take my other twine and wrap it like this, and then I'm going to tie a knot in my twine, and hopefully my twine will help hold my teepee together. Oh, looky there. Ooh, that looks, oops, pretty cool. You can stretch it out. Make your teepee. Well, I'm going to move this. So when Mr. Kapanga and his brothers were little, they would go outside and play in the sunshine, and they would find twigs, just like we talked and about. And have the V in the twig. And they would build a cozy cabin out there. So even though we put our cozy cabin in cardboard, you're actually going to put your sticks right in the dirt. Do you see a shape here? Looky there. It's a square. It has four sides. So stick your four sticks in the dirt and then cut your twigs and lay them on top and you will be making a cozy cabin. You could actually make a whole town. You could make teepees. You could make some more of these little forts or cozy cabins. And then get your Lego figures and bring them outside. You could dig a little ditch and you could make a river and canoes. Oh my goodness, you could have so much fun. Look at our little village. Twigs starts with the letter T and we made something really cool. Just outside having fun in the sunshine. I'm going to put this back away. Well, I think we need to stand up and stretch. So why don't we do a push pause, and then while we're doing that, you guys sing head and shoulders, knees and toes like four times. Be sure to crank it up so each time it gets faster and faster. All right, here we go. I'll start you out. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes. going to sing a song about a teapot. Do you remember our song about a teapot? Well, I'm going to set my teapot down. Put one hand on your hip and your other hand out like this. Sing it with me. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Just tip me over and pour story is Franklin in the Dark. Let's take a peek in here. <gasps> There's nothing in there. Where did he go? Let's find out. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. 
He could count forwards and backwards. He can even zip zippers and button buttons. But Franklin was afraid of small, dark places. And that was a problem because Franklin was a turtle. He was afraid of crawling into small, dark shell. And so Franklin the turtle dragged his shell behind him. Every night, Franklin's mother would take a flashlight and shine it right into his shell. See, she would say, there's nothing to be afraid of. She always said that because she wasn't afraid of anything. But Franklin was sure that creepy things and slippery things and monsters lived inside his small, dark shell. So Franklin went looking for help. He walked until he met a duck. Excuse me, duck. I'm afraid of small, dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, quack, quack, the duck. You see, I'm afraid of very deep water. Sometimes when nobody is watching, I wear my water wings. Would my water wings help you? Oh no, said Franklin, because I'm not afraid of the water. So Franklin walked and walked and walked until he met a polar bear. Excuse me, polar bear. I'm afraid of small dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, growled the bear. You see, I'm afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear my snowsuit to bed. Would my snowsuit help you? Oh no, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Franklin was tired and hungry and he walked and walked and walked until he met his mother. Oh, Franklin, I was so afraid you were lost. You were afraid? I didn't know mothers ever were afraid. Well, did you find some help, she asked. No, I met a duck who was afraid of deep water. Hmm, she said. And I met a polar bear who was afraid of freezing. Oh, she said. They were all afraid of something? Mm-hmm, said Franklin. It was getting late and Franklin was very, very tired and very hungry. They walked and walked and walked until they were home. Franklin's mother gave him a cold supper and a warm hug and then she sent him off to bed. Good night, dear, she said. Well, Franklin knew what he had to do. He crawled right inside his small dark shell. He was sure he saw creepy things and slippery things and a monster. But he said a brave, good night. And then when nobody was looking, Franklin the turtle turned on his nightlight. That was such a good book. I really enjoyed that. Well, it's been a fun time together. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're able to get outside and enjoy the sunshine and find lots of twigs and you can build so many fun things. Before we go today, let's sing our little song, I'll See You on Wednesday. I'll see you on Wednesday, on Wednesday, on Wednesday. I'll see you on Wednesday, the next day of school in my cozy little cabin. Bye-bye.